out of all the healthy things that you could possibly eat, the egg is probably at the top of the list. Today, I want to share seven things that I would guarantee most people do not know about eggs. And as I go through these items, comment down below on which one is most surprising to you. Number one, 65.9% of all chickens in the United States are in cages. They're not even outside the cage, even inside the barn. They live their whole life in a cage. That's 65.9%. It's terrible. Now, out of all the egg and chicken production, only 5.8% are organic. That's less than 6%. And unfortunately, they have something called industrial organic, which is still in very large barns. Uh, these poor chickens don't have uh, hardly any uh, fresh air. They don't get the chance to go outside. And if they do go outside, it's on some cement. They don't even get to touch grass. So just because something is organic doesn't necessarily mean it's the uh, ideal scene. You want organic and pasture raised. You really want to know the history of that farm. In fact, there's a really good website. I'll put the link down below. It's called Cornucopia. They have a rating system for eggs. So you can actually find out which farms are the best. The next point is this. The egg yolk is the second best source of vitamin A. And I'm talking about the active form of vitamin A called retinol. So the best source is liver, and that also includes cow liver oil. Vitamin A is like the anti-dry eye remedy. Vitamin A helps you differentiate in the dim light or the dark. So as you're driving and it's dark out, you're able to differentiate and see things clearly. If you're deficient in retinol, everything's going to be very, very uh, blurry. Retinol is also the anti-infection uh, nutrient, especially for the outer part of your skin and the inner part of your skin. That includes the inner part of the mouth, the esophagus, the lungs, as well as the entire digestive system. Vitamin A is intimately involved in the immune system that lines those surfaces. Vitamin A is important in the conversion of the inactive T4 thyroid hormone to the active T3 thyroid hormone. Vitamin A can help decrease the risk of melanoma, that's skin cancer, decrease wrinkles. And that probably has mostly to do with all the incredibly concentrated fat-soluble nutrients in egg yolks. All right, next point. The egg yolk is the highest source of choline of any food that you can eat. What is good about choline? Choline helps prevent a fatty liver. Choline supplies the brain to help make the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Choline helps support something called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest and digest. Now, you probably think the egg white has the most concentrated protein compared to the egg yolk. That's not actually true. If you look at the protein per 100 grams of that protein, and we compare the egg white to the egg yolk, the egg white has 11 grams of protein per 100 grams, and the egg yolk has 17 grams of protein per 100 grams. Now, the catch-22 about this is that there's obviously more white than there is yolk, so you're going to have a little more protein, but that yolk is super concentrated with actually more protein per volume. All right, next point. You may have known this, but I just want to put it out there. The yolk contains the majority of nutrients, okay, except for two, and I'm talking about vitamins and minerals. The egg white does have a little bit more B2 and B3, but if we look at all the other minerals and all the other vitamins, it's in the egg yolk. And it's funny because sometimes people will, you know, cook up egg whites and throw out the egg yolk. I mean, that's like you're throwing out the nutrition. Well, that relates to the next point about this. They might throw away the egg yolk because they don't want the cholesterol. Well, there is no research that indicates that eating eggs are going to negatively affect your cholesterol in any way, shape, or form. So now I want you to comment down below on the item that surprised you the most. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content. And there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, Go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side.